case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the legal world saw the delaware court of chancery pitted against tyson foods inc and ibp inc in 2001 in a lawsuit that emphatically prioritizes good faith and integrity in corporate mergers Tyson Foods and IBP had previously drawn up a merger agreement, their strategy cemented in the desire to create a formidable conglomerate in the meat products sector. However, the agreement had been subjected to Tyson's critique, including allegations of fraudulent conduct by IBP. As the case unraveled, it was revealed that the company had amplified its bid for IBP despite apprehensions about the functionality of the latter, failing to disclose these concerns appropriately. The catalyst of the lawsuit was traced back to a contentious comment letter from the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, compelling the court to scrutinize the clauses within the merger agreement. IBP, seeking an enforcement of said agreement, desired the merger to proceed, undeterred by the claims made by Tyson. Despite Tyson's attempt to solicit relief claims, the court ruled in favor of IBP, debunking Tyson's justification for ending the merger agreement which had been prematurely terminated by the latter in March 2001. More so, even the allegations of accounting fraud and other discrepancies within IBP did not deter the court from its decision. Supporting the adherence to agreements and contracts, the court granted IBP's plea for direct enforcement of the merger, dismissing Tyson's relief claims. Consequently, by June 27, the parties in dispute were required to submit a partial final order, scheduling a formal meeting with the court in the consecutive span of a week. Case briefs and so much more. LS data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of climbing.